Honestly, if anyone walks up this driveway now, I'm in big trouble. And there we go. Sadly, with everything going on at the moment, you can't just pack a bag and drive away for the night, but you can pretend, right? On my previous and first video with this car, my BMW 760Li, which I bought for £5,000, I said if the video got 1,000 likes, I'd spend the night in my car. Well, the video got more than 1,000 likes, so here we are. I don't really see any way out of this, so instead of standing here and trying to make up excuses like a pregnant nun, I'm just gonna bite the bullet and spend 24 hours living in my BMW 760Li. So before we get into it, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and smash the thumbs up button on this video because if this video gets 2,000 likes, then I'll spend 24 hours in that my BMW Z4. And that would be very much like, well, trying to get a feral animal to stay in your garden shed. Anyway, let's just get on with it, shall we? Now, I'm not going to sit here and pretend this hasn't been done a thousand times before. In fact, this idea has been used and abused more than a toilet in a curry house. However, what I might have here is somewhere that you would actually want to spend 24 hours. And it has now just dawned on me that I've just closed that door for the last time. Um, as you can see, we're stocked up with provisions and actually it's freezing in here. I'm almost tempted to start the, we'll do that in a minute. In here is just sort of my overnight bag with clothes and toiletries and and something to wee in actually. Uh, yeah, um, lots of bedding, obviously you want to keep warm but I think the car will do a really good job at that anyway. And of course, well I sent Jeeves over to Waitrose yesterday um, to get me some stuff for the fridge. Of course this car has a fridge so obviously we'll be stocking it up with uh, essential goods, San Pellegrino um, and smoked salmon sandwiches. And so we've got some nice things in there to go in the fridge in a minute. We do need to have a little sort out in here, which is gonna be fun actually, sort of finding all of the sort of nooks and crannies to put stuff. Obviously, um, or maybe not obviously, but what I've discovered is you cannot, or I don't think you can put the seats down to access the boot. So really we lose out on the space from the boot because of course I'd have to get out the car to get to the boot which I can't do. I can't leave the car now for 24 hours. So we are limited in that regard, but obviously this is a long wheelbase car. These seats go all the way forwards and I think we should be able to get an, enough space. I'm gonna have to work out whether I'm actually gonna sleep in the back or sleep in the front with the seats. I don't know, it's gonna be interesting. Oh. Yes. Okay. So. We'll get some heating on. Uh, let's get it up to 23 degrees. That sounds very nice. Automatic, automatic. Okay, good. Okay, so I've got this weird sort of uh, 12 volt contraption here. Um, which I think I bought mainly for road trips, but obviously at the moment haven't really been able to use it. Um, it's a 12 volt and I've got two 12 volts here in front of me. So it looks like if I want to put the TV up, I'll have to unplug it. But yeah, essentially plug that in. That's definitely working. Plug in this, which is my laptop charger. Find somewhere neater in a minute to put this, perhaps in the seat pocket there. That's pretty neat. Um, and then, Let's see, hopefully if I get the laptop out, plug in lead. Charging, that's brilliant. 
So, obviously, yes, the engine's running currently, and we're using quad, so, sorry, Greta. Um, but okay, so the laptop's charging, which off, I, off, off which I can charge my phone, I can charge my cameras off this if I, if I need to, which I probably will. Uh, so, actually, this is, this is good. I can do some stuff here. Um, and obviously, because I am a uh, business executive, um, I'm very important. Um, I need to uh, appear to be um, as busy as a one-armed clown making balloons at a children's birthday party. So this is great because I can I can do that. I can actually continue with my normal business. Um, speaking of which, I'm getting a little bit thirsty and could do with a coffee. But I don't have any coffee making facilities in here. I did think about a 12 volt kettle, but I think I've got a better idea. Oh, hello. Could I have a coffee, please? A coffee? How would you like your coffee, sir? Oh, just a latte. Okay, I'll bring it out for you. Thank you. Oh, hello. Room service. Thank you. Thank you very much. What do I owe you for your troubles? That's 50, that should cover it. Ah, well that beats sleeping in a Vauxhall Corsa, and it beats a 12 volt kettle as well. Cup holders here, uh, is that going to work? Oh, and the mug fits, oh this is brilliant. Anyway, uh, I actually fancy a little bit of privacy now, so I'm going to pop the uh, blinds up there. We've got a rear one which, ah, I can't put the rear one up currently can I? because it might just be a little bit crowded with pillows. Right, well, uh, got my coffee now, so laptop out. I'm actually gonna, oh my goodness, that was a bit close. I'm gonna crack on with some work. Um, and I guess, oh look at this. Room service even brought out a nice little flower. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> I mean, it is weird, isn't it? You know, imagine you're just delivering something and there's just a guy sitting in a car on his laptop drinking coffee out of a mug. I kind of understand where he's coming from there. Just switch the ignition back on so we can get some light in. Oh, I'm a mess. Um, I had a little nap there and I switched everything completely off, locked the car, or took the key out, locked the car, and had a little bit of a lie down. Um, unfortunately, it's only 20 to 5, and there's just gone going. Uh, it says recharge battery, so I'm going to have to switch the ignition off or switch the engine on in a second. Um, my back, my lower back hurts a little bit, but all I've done here is put a couple of pillows behind and sort of just sprawled out on my side like this. And um, wasn't wasn't too bad, but my lower back is a little bit hurt. I wonder if potentially I need to adjust these seats a little bit better. So yeah, my observation so far is I've got backache, um, which isn't ideal to be honest, being it's pretty pretty early in the game still. I think it's time to go and get something to eat. So that's hopefully, I mean, the battery's not really been running, so I'm not worried that the car's not gonna start or anything. We've got the awkward uh, task of trying to get in the front again now. Let's just get all the lights on so you can see what's going on a bit better. That's not too bad. Okay. Oh, 
Oh dear. Ah. Oh. You probably all think, oh, I sound like an old man, don't I? Whew. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Recharge battery, it says. Okay, let me just start it. I think we're all good. Lovely. Happy days, and I've still got my San Pellegrino on the go. Let's roll. I honestly love this car so much. It it's just so it's just so smooth. And honestly, like I tell you what, I've been sat in the back all day. Um, but here in the front, just sitting in this position, which I've taken a bit of time obviously setting up to my liking, it is so comfortable. Like right now, I really wish I could just drive to Scotland. Um, I really, really would do that if it was possible right now, because this car just lends itself so nicely to, to long journeys. But even now where I'm just gonna potter over to the drive-through, um, it's just so, so smooth and so effortless to drive. I've even got an automatic parking brake, which I can demonstrate in a second. I press this little star button here on my wheel, like so. It comes up with auto P on my dash. And what it means is when you come to a stoplight like this, for example, come to a stop, I can then release my foot from the brake and it's automatically in its parking brake setting. Look guys, let's give it a little squirt of power here. Even into this right hander quite hard, it handles nicely and then 50, 60. <laughs> it's just absurd. And there's actually a really nice induction noise you get, sort of between four and a half and above, four and a half to the to the rev limiter. There's a yeah, there's an induction noise that comes comes in that sounds just different to anything I've experienced before. It's the V12. Well, this seems to be the place to be on a Wednesday evening. McDonald's. I'm actually very excited for this. I'm not going to lie. Hi, can I take your order, please? Hi, can I get a uh, cool mayo uh, chicken legend meal? Yeah, which drink? Um, oh, I'll get, can I just get a bottle of water with that, actually? Yeah, if you uh, Yeah, can I get some cheddar melts? Uh-huh. And uh, just two sort of normal cheeseburgers on their own, please. Yeah, and if you Um, no, that's it, thanks. All right, enjoy. Thanks. What I'm going to do in preparation for my uh, Mackies is move this seat back a little bit uh, so I can take this camera off the seat. Oh, just bashed it. And this bag off the seat. And then, see, this is where my genius comes in again. Put on the heated seat. And then my McDonald's can sit on the seat while it's being heated. You know what? I'm going to treat my McDonald's and I'm going to put on the massage as well. I'll give my McDonald's a little massage. <laughs> Let's just try and get in the back here. I'll tell you what, I'll bring you with me. There is a lot of space. I mean, it's crazy to be honest, but it's still a little bit awkward. <laughs> when you're trying to literally go from front to back. Um, apologies for this handheld camera. The other ones have just died, so I'm improvising. Um, speaking of which, I'm gonna move this one out of the way so that I don't hit my head. But now, most importantly, where's my food? Five hours later. Um, it's almost 11 o'clock now, and so I think I'm tired enough to um, try and sleep sleep through. So let's just firstly try and work out how reclined this seat can go. Let's do this. And actually, there's some things here in the back of the seat that I'm just gonna move as well.
Wow. So I think that is as flat as it will go. Open the lumbar as much as it will. Oh, and I can tilt it. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. That's pretty damn flat. That is pretty mad. Let me just try this out. Okay, well this is this is quite comfortable. I'm just not sure this is necessarily going to work to sleep. I think I think where I was earlier might have even been better because if you can see, I don't know if you can. There's quite a. Uh, gap here it's not really flat at all I do almost wonder if you could almost sort of sit across here but then the problem with this is the the headrest um, is in the way so I don't think this is gonna work um, I'm trying to use the passenger front it's got to be a way though hasn't there so I think The best thing here is to try and extend the rear seats out as much as possible so there's as much surface area and just make that into a nice sleeping area. So this one needs to go out of the way and I can do that from the back with the controls in there. And so let's see how we can make this better. So I'll move everything over here um, as I'll sleep sort of. Uh, back this way, legs that way, as I did earlier. I think what I'm gonna do now, actually, while I think about it, because I will switch for security and stuff, I'll, 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 I'll switch the car off and lock it when I sleep. Um, so before the electrics go off, I've got the heating set nice, it's really toasty in here, actually, really nice. Um, and so I'll be able to crack a window if I need to. I'm gonna put the heated seats on both sides here, and then my bed should be warm by the time I get into it. I mean, come on, I mean that, considering I'm sitting in a car, that's not bad at all. All there really is for me to do now is get the lights off, find my eye shade, probably take some clothes off actually, switch the car off, lock it, and I mean in an ideal world I'll see you in the morning bright and early. Good night, wish me luck. morning. Oh. 7.34 and I've been feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I've been up for like a couple of hours on and off. The rain is really loud and it has been really loud all night. Also, it is, um, this is really annoying, isn't it? I should probably switch the engine on in a second. But on that, it is actually pretty, it's pretty warm in here still. Uh, like I'm still in the t-shirt and I'm not cold when I'm out of the covers. So the car's retained the heat very well indeed. Um, oh, look. Oh, that's a surprise. Hang on, let me. Good morning. Good morning, coffee, sir. Thank you very much. Good night. Oh, lovely, yeah. <laughs> well, that's a nice little surprise. I didn't even have to call for that one. Well, everyone, I've had a bit of my coffee now and I'm starting to wake up slightly. Um, it's now 
8.14. So we've got, what, six, six hours to go, exactly, actually. Six hours to go, which means we're three quarters of the way. This next home stretch is going to be easy. I've actually got, I think I mentioned yesterday, I've got a meeting at 11, um, which uh, is on Zoom. So I need to freshen up a little bit for that. So I'll try and sort of freshen up as much as I can so that I look presentable. Um, this is just so nice, honestly. Obviously, I've got my cup holder down there, but I'm holding my coffee. I love these red ambient lighting strips. It just... Um, it's just, it's just a very relaxing feel. And honestly, guys, the sleep, yeah, it wasn't, you know, it was a little bit, it reminded me of, if you've ever seen Bear Grylls where he sleeps in the carcass of a big animal. That's sort of how it felt last night. So, you know, not an ideal sleep. Um, I was waking up quite a lot. Um, but just the, the le these, sit, like, to sit in, the leather is just unbelievable. I think I'm even more comfortable now than I was when I was sleeping. Um, if I could sleep upright, then you'd be sorted. And then this, you just this big plush armrest here. I've got my heated seat on, which the controls. I mean, just even, just it just feels everything's just set up perfectly. And I've got the TV in front of me, watching some really, really depressing news. And I love how here I can just increase the volume like this, or change the channel all without having to lift a finger essentially it's all just here and the blinds have been nice they provide a good level of you can see actually that brightens up a fair amount when you open up all of these let's just do it as a demonstration so they actually provide a really good level of privacy uh, let's just close it all again <laughs> so much fun um, and although I haven't used them actually the air conditioning controls up here if it was a really hot night that would be perfect because they're right there but I have a vent there and two vents here which I've been using on and off um, but like I say during the night the the engine was off obviously and the car was locked and when I woke up this morning um, it wasn't it wasn't cold in here it was definitely cooler than it was when I left it but um, I've switched the car on now heated seats and blasted the, the AC on for a few minutes and it's it's, it's really toasty, like I said, I'm sitting here in my t-shirt. Anyway, it's a lot of waffle, isn't it? <clears throat> but I think you start to lose your mind a little bit when you spend 24 hours in a car. So anyway, yeah, so 8.17 now. Um, I've actually got a ton of like YouTube comments and stuff to reply to, so I'm probably gonna go through and do that while the news is on in the background. Spend sort of till nine o'clock just chilling, waking up. Maybe I'll have something to eat, although I'm not really a breakfast person, to be honest, but we've still got sausage rolls, smoked salmon sandwich, some chocolate, some Prosecco, and a San Pellegrino in the fridge. I completely forgot about that. Um, and then I've got this meeting at 11, so uh, I need to make sure my laptop's charged up. Um, and maybe try and have a little wash of some kind and brush my teeth, so that should be entertaining. got I've got some deodorant that's probably not a bad idea although I don't want to suffocate myself and the toothbrush is in here somewhere yes very good right, so I've got a toothbrush I think There's a toothpaste in here yes excellent and water which I've got still some left haven't I oh I realised I should disclose, being totally honest, I did get out of the car in the night to go for a wee. I uh, did actually plan, I mean I wasn't going to include it because it's kind of grim, but I did actually plan on really weeing in a bottle. Um, however, when uh, I woke up like an old man needing to go to the loo, I didn't have an empty bottle for a start, and I just thought for the sake of it I'm just going to nip out and just wee. Um, I didn't think it would really add that much to the video by 
weeing in a bottle, if you know what I mean. Depends what you're into, really, I suppose. But anyway, yeah, so I did do that. If we're talking about other things, well, I'm just gonna hold on for another few hours. Um, speaking of, I'm quite thirsty now, actually. Let's try and do this without making too much. Oh, it's cold. Oh, and I'm getting wet. Oh. <laughs> so cold. Oh, it's getting all wet in here. Hang on then, let's close that. Where's the shoe There we go. Honestly, if anyone walks up this driveway now, I'm in big trouble. you a little update from the front actually um, I'll leave the camera there but looking at the fuel tanks so the engines running now I really only had what did I, I mean I had the engine running um, so the, the car was on half a tank um, when I started the video yesterday I should have said really but I guess it's not really too much of uh, a talking point but excuse me yeah so the car was on half a tank um, and displaying about 10 and a bit mpg when we started yesterday. It's now displaying 8.7 and the tank is a smidgen under a half. So actually sitting here idling, we've probably had the engine running on idle for maybe two hours in total. Um, so it's barely used any fuel. I mean, it's you know still used a lot of fuel just sitting here, but not as much as you might think. I think some people might assume that this would just drain its tank overnight. Which actually, if you left it on overnight, maybe it would. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's not actually, to be honest, it's not cost me that much. I, you know, I was thinking uh, last night when I woke up, genuinely, because this video is really um, just a bit of a laugh. And I'm sort of, well, I was going to say I was punishing myself. But really, am I punishing myself? I think I've had a pretty all right time so far. Still not over. But I was thinking, in a normal world where there's freedom of movement, etc., etc., it would be an amazing, like, to drive this car up to, say, Scotland, the Highlands of Scotland, one of the big national parks, maybe, park somewhere really scenic, um, you know, drive all day and then pop the seat back and, and sleep during the night. This, I mean, it would just be a fantastic way to do it. And to think that this car's five grand, it's. Uh, you know, you couldn't get an old beaten up camper van that would do a better job, in my opinion. I do feel a little bit sick from the beige interior though, I have to say. I'm looking forward to focusing my eyes somewhere else. On the final home stretch then, eagerly anticipating my departure from this car in about five minutes. I've now lost my phone, which has the time on it. Key is already out. I'm ready. I'm literally ready to just go now. The car's unlocked. All I've got to do is just jump out in a second. Uh, there it is. 14.14. <laughs> and then that signifies my time to get on out of this car. Let's put the TV screen away if I can. Still haven't quite worked out how that works. Oh, I'm just gonna leave it for now. Need to tidy up in here, but let's go outside, shall we? Oh my goodness, it's cold out here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 24 hours. There she is. And so, literally from where I started 24 hours ago, here it is. <laughs> that was quite an experience. There we go. You can really see actually when you open the door just how much space there is here. Well guys, look, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. I've therefore shown you can spend 24 hours living in an old BMW 7 Series limo. I don't think anyone would have disputed that. Um, but maybe next time I'll be careful not to give such achievable like targets. If you're not subscribed already and you're still watching, please do make sure to subscribe for those upcoming videos I spoke about. There is actually also some stuff coming up with my Z4 very soon, so stay tuned for that. But otherwise, guys, thanks so much for watching this one, and I'll see you very, very soon.